Sweet. Here we are again in the daily races. Somehow I qualified in P6 out of 12. So, coming from the mid-pack, let's see what we can do. Can we get a top fin five finish? Probably not. This is a group three race around one of the short versions of the Sardinia road track. These are, it's an eight lap race, but these are sub one minute laps. It's a very fast circuit. Lots of sweeping corners, lots of like, you know, a couple of really tight hairpins with, you're coming out of these really slow speed corners with a very high powered car. There's going to be, this, I think this is going to be a high chaos race. It, more so than, than normal. Because you're right on the razor's edge here. You make a mistake, and it's going to go really bad, really fast. And chances are you're going to wipe out a lot of people. So, that's my prediction. Higher than normal chaos. I just hope I'm not the cause of it. Here we go. Here we go. Sardinia Road Track C. Eight laps around it in the 2015 GD3 Lamborghini Hurricane. We're rocking. Yes, I'm using a little traction control because a damn. Guy in P1's connection speed sucks. Turn one is tight here. Damn, did we all make it through? Miracles never cease. Whoa, 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 look at that dude. Okay. Watching the guy heck up, and I hecked up myself trying to avoid him. Lost all my focus, my rhythm. All right. P4 looks like he picked up a three second penalty for that. Got my braking a bit wrong there. Whoa, as did we all. Sorry, sorry, buddy. Shit. Two second penalty. Fair enough, whatever. I, I did make contact. Man, you gotta be so careful coming out of that corner. That final corner will bite you if you get on the throttle too hard. And yes, even using traction control. Looks like that guy's rhythm got, whoa, got a bit screwed up. Missed the apex. Talking about him. Okay. 
Let's see if we can get that position back that I lost to a penalty without getting another one. Pressure's on him. The pressure is on him. I'm losing out, though. I'm losing time. Big chunks of it. Well, okay. Fair enough. I left the door open. I guess I'm back to my qualifying position now. Which, you know, after a two-second penalty and lots of minor mistakes. That guy went hell of defensive. I had to really slow up to avoid hitting him there. But, you know, that's that's how defending and overtaking goes. That was smart defending on his part. That was bad. Please don't give me a penalty for that, Gran Turismo. I lost time, clearly. It looks like they got together. Or somebody went wide or something. Something happened. All right. Three more laps to go. Looks like those two changed positions. Well, that is a tricky braking zone. Heavy braking while the car, while the road is still just turning left and right. Very technical corner. Tricky not to come through here in a four-wheel drift. It's tempting to do it, but you will really screw up if you yield to that temptation of staying in the throttle or taking the corner a little too hot. Likewise here on the braking zone for this hairpin, because you've got to scrub off so much speed, the temptation is to really just hammer on the brakes because you know you've got to really woe it up, but you just got to start downshifting and just be easy on the brakes. Final lap, let's bring it home. A little bit of traction loss you can hear coming from the tires. That little the sweeping S section there is it's a lot of fun. Whoa. Got my braking hecked up because talking and racing is hard. Whew, and that was eight laps. That's Sardinia. Short. I guess it's Sardinia Track C. Okay, so after some excitement, well, I think we were up as high as fourth at one point and got that two-second penalty and finished up a place higher than we qualified, so all in all, I'd call that a call that a minor victory. Very, very minor. 
we went up and not down, and that's kind of what counts. Net gain. I have to say, that race was a lot cleaner than I thought it was going to be. I mean, obviously there was lots of mistakes here and there, but it wasn't any, like, one guy missing his break-in and, like, wiping out four or five cars. That's, that's what I expected. Just utter mayhem. That's good to see. Cool. Well, thanks for watching.